Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make this crochet checkered handbag. First off, you're going to need two colors of yarn. I'm doing blue and white. And you're also going to need a crochet hook. And I'm going to be using the Susan Bates 6mm hook. Lastly, you're going to need a button of your choice, and this is to help us close our bag. Lastly, you're going to need some thread and a sewing needle for that thread. And then you're also going to need a needle for your yarn. So we're going to start off with one of the colors. I'm going to be using the blue one. And we're going to be making our slip knot and then chaining 41. And so if you remember, to make a slip knot, you just make like an X, almost like a magic circle, but then you pull through. And then you're going to loop around your hook and then pull through, and that's one chain. And then you keep doing this until you have 41 chains in total. Once you're done, it should look something like this. So now we're going to be single crocheting. So you want to start off by chaining one, which I had already done. And then into the next one, you're going to single crochet. And then you're going to keep single crocheting until you have made five single crochets. So once you get to your fifth stitch, you just want to like pull it if you haven't and you should just have two loops as if you hadn't pulled through the other piece of yarn all the way through. It's just these two loops and then we're going to move on to our next color. And so with our next color, what you're going to do is you're just going to grab your strand and you're going to put it on the hook and then you'll just pull through like any single crochet. So you're just going to put it there and then you're going to pull your hook through and now you've completed adding another color and then you want to do another five single crochets remember to put the yarn kind of with you so when you are single crocheting you want to go under that piece of yarn from your other color and then grab your starting color and you want to repeat this uh, remember five times per color until you get to the end So once you are complete, it should look something like this. So now we are going to continue on. So now you want to grab your creation so far and then turn it around. And then with the color you're on right now, you're just going to chain one. So once you've chained your one, we're going to start single crocheting. And remember to bring up the other piece of yarn with you as you go and then vice versa to make it easier for you and anyways now we are going to start single crocheting so remember to just go under and also under that piece of yarn and then pull through and then single crochet and now you want to do that five times in total per color just like we did previously and now once you're done this second row you're going to do that for three more rows so once you are done this second one you want to do it again for the third, the fourth, and the fifth, just like what we did. Now with our two rows, it should look something like this. So now we're going to chain once again and then do exactly like what we did 
just remembering to bring the color over and also to match the color and now we are going to do this about two more times in total so you should have four individual rows which all add up to this one checkered row So once you get to the end of your rows, if you haven't like me, you're just going to slip it out so now you only have two loops on your hook like so. And now we are going to switch our colors so we can start the next row for our checkered pattern. So now we're going to switch colors with our other color. And then we're going to do what we did before where we would chain one and then turn and then start single crochet. So right here you just want to turn and then you want to do one chain. And then you're going to start single crocheting in that next chain and then once you get to the end which should be about five single crochets you're going to switch back to your other color so you should notice that the colors are changing now looks like this and so now we are just going to repeat this until we have a total of five checkered rows which also means 12 more total rows so you should have five rows of checkered so as you can see we have two right now so you need three more of those done this but we're done like the checkered part so now you can just clean it up i remember when you tie it up you should have a long strand of yarn to help with the sewing process but anyways just tie it up and then i'll show you guys what to do next
Once you are done, now you're going to grab the color that you first started with. For me, it was the pale blue. And now we are going to start finishing the border. So like we did in the beginning, we chained 41 chains with our starting color. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to add to it by making a border. So what you want to do is you want to fit your hook into any hole you can find. And you want to try to make it like as straight as possible between the holes. But anyways, you're just going to single crochet with that color across. And then you're going on the side, on the top, on the side again. And then you should end up back at the bottom. It should look like this including the border so now we are going to do this all over again which i know was quite a long process already but we are going to do all that again except don't worry about the last step we did about the border you still want to do the 41 chains as your bottom chain but don't worry about doing the border just yet Once you're done it should look something like this so now you can just cut off some of that yarn but don't cut off a lot but you can keep a long strand so then we can use it for sewing and then once you've done that then you can just tie it all up going to single crochet our borders and so we're only going to single crochet the left and the right sides we are not going to single crochet on the top so now you're just going to use your blue yarn again and do your single crochets that kind of helps the flap to move 
and so it goes along this part and so we're first going to start by making our slip knot and then we are going to chain 41 chains going to start doing the checkered part so like we did before we are going to do our single crochets that combine together and we're only going to do like one of those single crochet checkered rows so individually there will be four rows in total but it will add up to this one pattern row and so you're going to keep doing that until you have a total of four rows which equal that one checkered row so you're going to start off by single crocheting five for the first color and then you're going to switch to your next color. Now we are going to make the actual flap so it'll be about two squares thick except so it'll basically be like this except the squares are going to be five rows in total, so it's going to be like this, except we're going to do it twice, and each of those squares are going to be five rows in total. So you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're going to do an extra row, and then you're going to switch your colors, and then you're going to do the exact same thing on top. to move on to making the strap and to make the strap you're going to make your slip knot and then you're going to chain 161 chains once you're done we are now going to make our one checkered row which will be a total of four rows of our single crochet so like we have been doing all this time we are going to be doing our checkered rows where we would switch our colors every five and we're going to do this all for four rows in total which will add up to our one checkered row So here it is, it is pretty, pretty long. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be chaining all around the strap. So we're going to use our blue color and we're going to chain all around except for the bottom since it already has the chains of blue. So here are all our pieces now, so now we're just going to start sewing them all together. So I'm first going to start off by sewing the flap together, so it's like this one nice flap. So you're going to sew the ends where we didn't single crochet into it, like the border, together. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to sew it on to the back. Now we'll work on sewing this onto the back and remember to sew the non-border side onto the other non-border side. So your flap should look like this now. So now we are going to start working with our strap 
And so for the strap, what we're going to do is we're going to sew the ends together and then we're going to sew it onto the back. And so just make sure before you even sew it, when you are putting it together, just make sure that it's nice and smooth. There's no twists or anything, but yeah. And then once you're close to being finished, you can tie everything up and then clean it all up. Then you also want to sew the top part of the flap onto the handle so it can open nicely so not the part that actually opens it's the part that helps the actual flap really open and close so here is what your purse should look like right now as you can see you can just kind of open it and then close it right up it looks very neat right now so now the last step is we're going to be attaching our button so here is the button that i will be using it's like a little translucent it is white and it's around the size of my thumb and it also has four holes on it which will make it nice to sew with an x but no matter what you'll be able to hopefully sew your button on and depending on the size of your button, you might have to adjust the thing that we're going to add to our flap later in order to actually close it with the button. But it shouldn't be too hard because we're only going to be using the yarn and we're not going to be crocheting anything. So now to make our connector thing, what you want to do is you want to cut off a pretty long strand. I did mine like about, I would say four to five inches. You want it pretty long just to make it easier for you to be able to start making it. And so what you want to do is you want to put your yarn in your sewing needle and based on the diameter of your button, of course this varies depending on the button you're using, you are just going to make it a little bit bigger based on the diameter and then you're going to pull through whichever hole fits nicely and then you're going to do the exact same just remember that there's a bit of yarn still sticking out and then you're going to do the exact same on the other side of the yarn Now you're just going to tie up the ends and then you can tidy it all up. I recommend definitely tying this one a few extra times because this is a bit more of a fragile piece and so it might be more likely to fall off. So definitely you want to tie it up a little extra and then you can snip it off and then tidy it up. So this is what your purse should look like now. So the very, very last step is to just look around your purse and just see any like untidiness anywhere like here i do have a little strand there so then you can just kind of clean things up and make it look nice and pretty so here is how the bag turned out it is super cute and pretty and so this is what it looks like on me and basically this is what it looks like when you open it up and you can put your stuff in here and then when you're done, you can just close it right back up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all found it very helpful. Bye!